Hi there, back again to do a quick demonstration of how to use peer loggers with ArcSight Logger. Uh, I just wanted to give a quick illustration of how easy and simple it is to set these up and uh, provide some fa facilities to search across multiple loggers really, really simple and easy. So I've actually got two loggers defined here uh, on different IP addresses. They're actually just clones on a VM system just to illustrate how easy this is to do. But I just want to give a, a very quick uh, illustration of how to set that up. Uh, loggers uh, are defined here, but there's no peer. It's actually very simple for me to set up. I just do add a peer. So I want to do the other host here. So uh, it's just 10.0.112. I give it a username and password. Uh, that I've uh, got defined on the other logger, uh, which I know what it is, and then I click save, and that's it. Simple as that. In fact, actually, it will automatically set up uh, the configuration on the other box for me. So now I can actually just go to my search interface. Simple as that. Uh, as this previous search that I've been running, just having a look. Uh, and actually, I just do a quick search here. Uh, you notice here that I've got this local only option now. Uh, if I just tick that box, I'm only going to do a local search. Uh, but actually now, because I've unticked it, I'm actually doing a search on the other box. So I can see here I'm on one particular address for my logger, but actually I'm getting data from the other one. It's as simple as that. Literally a couple of clicks and I've integrated and, and got an additional logger in here. So I can do my normal searching criteria. Uh, I can just type a search and, and get that data. And of course, I'm doing it across multiple loggers here. In this case, I'm doing it across two. So it's very simple and very straightforward for me to do that. Uh, so I'm getting data there. That's great. What actually starts to get in quite interesting is if I just look at my, my dashboard view for a second uh, and just view the information that's on these, uh, these, these dashboards here. Uh, I've got a, a number of dashboards set up just with some information in there, uh, and I can see what's going on. I'm actually interested in this here, where it's the, the root user. So I can see that this uh, login of root has been used a few times, in fact, in this case, 22 uh, on these devices. So actually, uh, I, I'm, I'm interested in that. I want to know what's going on. Uh, I, I'm, I'm wondering why that's the case. So I can actually just click on that. Just to drill down from a dashboard, it's very simple. Again, remember, I'm not doing the search local only. I'm actually doing this across uh, a couple of loggers. And importantly here, I can now see that there are uh, from some data from one logger and the other data from my local logger here that I've, I'm actually using as well. It's as simple as that. I'm actually now just, just by clicking a few buttons, integrated, extended the storage, extended the retention. Uh, my, my searches, uh, my dashboards, and my reports can now run across multiple loggers just by filling in that data. Uh, so it really is as simple as it looks. Uh, and that's about it that I need to talk about. Uh, thank you very much.